So what we want to design here is a query based on customers, order status and products. And what I want to do in this query, in the query that we are about to design, is to have a query where we can pull out information from different areas and show how this works with a calculated field. Uh, so let's get started. So, so what we do is create query design and in the query design we pull out the table that we want customers, order status, products. And as you can see here customers to products is a many-to-many -many relationships. So one customer can order many products and one product could be ordered by many customers so we have to have an intermediary table and we call that table order status so we want to pull out information in our case just to show you an example so city that they live in product uh, order number we'll have the order number first product ID quantity that they've purchased and we'll pay put the paid whether they're paid or not at the end standard cost or product name standard cost uh, and here we'll put the information on the calculated field sorry I'll just pull that up so that so in order to do that is you have to right click and build and I find that quite useful so we're going to pull out information from the tables and we want to calculate the quantity from the orders table quantity multiplied by the price from the product table. So we'll have the standard cost price and we'll call that and we'll have to go in the front put equal, that's what I've forgotten to do. Once you do that there is a field here called expression 1, you can replace that to say to total cost or total which is products um, standard cost times quantity. I know I put that in the wrong place, but we can we can organize that in a minute. So let's just see how the query looks like at the moment. So we have to click on the data sheet view. You could have done it in several different ways. So this is how, how it looks like at the moment. So total standard cost. So we'll put the product name here rather than there. So we'll go back to the design view again. And to do that, we'll delete it first and then put the product ID we have there. We don't need the product information, but we can see the screen here. Uh, so you have the total, you can see 22 times 1 gives you 22. So it works out correctly. Now we want to be able to refine this slightly better to say whether they have paid or not. So if we click on there and go to the design view and look at the data sheet, we can see some of them have paid, some of them are unpaid. So we want to put in a, a query in the criteria field to say whether they're paid or not. So we can do it in two different ways. We'll say true first. So only the paid amount comes up. So only the paid comes up here. So design view again, and you can do it another way. Just call it one, and do the sheet view. Yeah, that's another one. And we can see all the unpaid one, obviously, with a zero or false. Sheet view. So these are all unpaid, and we can send a mail to them. So before you do it, you have to save it. And the Lizinski style name, query, unpaid, in this case, unpaid customers. So thank you for watching this video.